As much as I love this computer for its stunning design and premium feel, lightweight and pretty quick SSD drive, as much I hate it for its bad quality, shitty keyboard and overall user experience with its super small 128 SSD drive, seriously, it's a useless drive, let me explain you why. Mine is a 13-inch 2017 year model, which looks identical to 2016 model and 2018 and 2019 and 2020 and 2021 and probably will look the same as 2022 model as well. It's a revolution, Johnny! I'm gonna start by presenting you its pros. So, it's a pretty good design and premium feel computer. It has pretty nice battery life, just okay. Fast SSD, very nice trackpad, crispy retina display before it was broken. And basically that's all positive I can say about this MacBook. Some negative things. Small storage capacity. 128GB even 4 years ago, it's a scam for a pro device. Seriously, it's a joke or something. 128GB is not enough even for taking notes at school, I'm not talking about some video or photo editing workflow. This SSD is very fast, but it's useless, since you will be limited just with several apps and maybe uh, your small photo library. Connectivity. Just two USB-C ports. And dongles, dongles, dongles. That you should buy separately and pay uh, even more for just being able to use your regular devices that are still in 2021, in most cases not USB-C devices. It just doesn't work. That's bad. That's very bad. Butterfly keyboard. It's just so loud and so bad quality. I repaired mine two times for free by Apple and it was covered by their warranty. But it's a shame for Apple to sell this type of devices for that amount of money. It's retina display. One day I decided to wipe my screen with a simple cloth and some cleaning product that I put on it and 20 seconds later it left some white traces on my retina display that I stayed forever on it, unfortunately. On my first months of usage I discovered that my keyboard were leaving some traces on its screen while closing the lid and I bought a screen protector for it, again, bad construction. It's getting very hot even while doing some regular tasks. Well, apparently it was designed very bad and as I already mentioned, maybe it's just a bad design, I mean, uh, technological design. Its trackpad is great, but it stopped working for a month for no reason and then a few days ago, randomly, it started working again. It's a revolution, Johnny. The lack of a touch bar, however, is necessary a bad thing. This model is $500 cheaper than the MacBook Pro with the touch bar version, which makes it more likely to appeal to budget-conscious college students and I just not able to find its utility even four years later. I have the same computer in my office, a touch bar version, and I'm never using it. You know, everything is bad about this computer. Its performance, its price, its build quality and overall user experience. It's just bad. I have two times cheaper Windows computer as my secondary device and it's two times better. I can connect any type of devices, even external screens and everything works just fine. This MacBook Pro sometimes freezes even in Safari on a simple web page. Sometimes it just randomly shuts down for no reason. So you know my overall experience is pretty bad with this computer. You know, I really enjoyed its retina display, I enjoy its trackpad, sometimes it's working nice for some basic features like web browsing or just watching videos and photos, maybe some YouTube videos, but nothing more. It's not a video editing machine, it's not a very powerful MacBook neither. If you want to have a really powerful machine, you should have at least 16 GB of memory, you should have at least Core i7 processor or some really high-end specs, but this one 
it's not a pro device i would say it's more like macbook air in a macbook pro style housing nothing more and you know i think this computer is a scam because i paid a lot of money four years ago i'm considering this price as pretty high for this type of computer and unfortunately four years later it's almost dead and i'm using it as my daily driver for watching some youtube videos for some basic final cut video editing and maybe just for some simple text typing but this retina display is damaged so unfortunately the build quality is not great and i'm not recommending you getting this computer even in 2021 even if you will find it for a really low price you know if you will buy it for just 300 bucks it's just okay you won't be upset but if you are considering buying this computer four years later for a pretty high price just avoid this machine it's a very bad computer it has bad keyboard it's not powerful at all it's not a pro device it's not a true macbook pro like we were used to have a few years ago in 2015 2014 models it's just a useless piece of shit you know I should say that sorry for saying that but but it's true we will see maybe next generations of macbook will be really nice and let's wait maybe one more year before apple will release a really true pro machine for a reasonable price and maybe it will better let's hope so I hope you like this video, I hope this video will be useful to you and if you are considering buying this computer you will choose another model. Thanks for watching, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again, bye bye.